Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following proposition. For all natural numbers n and n, n plus n is equal to m plus n. Now, we are referencing Tau's analysis, and the way that he defines addition of natural numbers is as follows. For any natural number n, we define 0 plus m to be m, and for all natural numbers n, we define the successor of n plus n to be the successor of n plus n. Now, in proving this, we are going to rely on two lemmas. The first lemma is, for all natural numbers a, a plus 0 is equal to a. The second lemma is, for all natural numbers a and b, we have We have that a plus the successor of b is equal to the successor of a plus b. Okay, now let's get into the proof. To start out the proof, let's give ourselves an arbitrary natural number n. And from here, we proceed by induction on n to show that for all natural numbers n, n plus n is equal to n plus n. Okay, so let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to 0. Which means we're trying to prove that 0 plus n is equal to n plus 0. Now to start, by definition of addition, let's take our natural number n here to be n. Well, we have that 0 plus n is equal to n. However, by lemma 2.2.2, if we take our natural number a here, to be n, we have that n plus 0 is equal to n. So since both 0 plus m and n plus 0 are equal to the same thing, they must be equal to each other. So as you can see, we have proven that this is true in the case where n is equal to 0. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary natural number n where this is true. So let n be a natural number and assume that n plus m is equal to m plus n. The whole goal of the induction step at this point is to prove that this is also true if instead of n, we have the successor of n. So really, we're trying to prove that n plus 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 n is equal to n plus n plus plus. And to see how that comes together, well, Let's first note that by definition of addition, if we take the m here to be the m in our proof, and we take n to be the n that we have in our proof, then we have that this is true. But then, since n plus m is equal to m plus n, we can take the n plus m here and replace it with m plus n. But now, if we apply lemma 2.2.3, we take a to be m and b to be n, well, we get that m plus n plus plus is equal to m plus n plus plus. So as we can see here, this is equal to this, which is equal to this. So really, this is equal to this. So as you can see, we have proven that this is true, where instead of n, we have n plus plus. So this completes the induction step, which means we've completed both the base case and induction step, so this closes the induction. And because we've closed the induction, what that means is, is that we have proven that this is true for all natural numbers n. Since m was an arbitrary natural number, this means for all natural numbers m, we have that for all natural numbers n, this is true. So we have proven precisely what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.